Hello students. In this video, we're going to determine the row space and column space of a matrix. And in turn, we will also determine the row rank and column rank of this matrix and show that the row rank and column rank equal each other. And that gives us the rank of the matrix. All right, so whenever you're gonna determine the row space or column space, you always start the same way. You row reduce the matrix and you get it down into its row reduced to echelon form. So the RREF. And then you, you know, put those matrices, you write those matrices down. And so again, for the row space, we'll get the RREF. For the column space, we'll need the RREF. And then once you have the RREF, it's actually just rather simple to identify what the row, what the row space and column space of the matrix is. For the row space, you identify the non-zero rows. For the column space, you identify the pivot columns. The non-zero rows for the row space will provide you the bases for the row space. So this top row here, this will be our bases, and this second row here, this will be another basis element and that'll be the basis for the row space. Notice that the matrix A is a three by five matrix with real entries. So we denote that by saying A is an element of the vector space of matrix three by five matrices with real entries. So that's how we denote it, R three by five. And it's a five dimensional vector for the row space, each of the basis elements here. Now, because of the row operations, we can't relate, without more information, we can't relate the row space necessarily directly back to the matrix A. However, with the column space, we can because you know, we typically don't swap columns, we may swap rows and such. So with the row space, you just get down to your RREF and then you just look for the non-zero rows. You just pick those out and you're done. For the column space, you look at the relationship here. You have the first column and the third column of the RREF are your pivot columns. So you go back to your original matrix and you say the first column minus three, one, two, and the third column minus one, two, five will be the basis vectors for your column space. So here you do relate back to the original matrix. So U1, U2 form a basis for the row space here, and notice that they are five-dimensional vectors. So there are, so the row space is a subspace of R5. If we call the RREF of A, if we call that matrix, if we call this matrix here E, then the non-zero rows of E give you the row space of A, which is denoted typically row of A. So let me summarize now the same thing for the column space. In the column space, we have three-dimensional vectors, right? Because this is a three rows to um, the matrix. So this column has three entries in it. So V1 and V2 form a basis for the column space of A, which is a subset of the vector space R3. And if we call the RREF of A, the matrix E, so we call this matrix E, then the pivot columns of E, they correspond to the columns of A that we call the column space of A. So you look, so for the row space, you just pick off the non-zero rows of E, which is your REF of A. For the column space, you look at the correspondence between your pivot columns. So in this case, column one and column three, you go back to the original matrix A, you pick off column one and column three, and those vectors, column one and column three from the matrix A form your basis for the column space of A, usually denoted cow of A. Now notice in both cases, the number of basis vectors give you the row rank of A and the number of basis vectors give you the column rank of A. And in both cases, um, the row rank of A is two and the column rank of A is two. So there is a theorem, I'm not gonna prove it now, but there's a theorem, you can look it up in your linear algebra text, and it would notify you that the row rank is equal to the column rank, <clears throat> and we call that the rank of A. And so 
here's how you determine the row space and the column space of a matrix. And then if you wanted to know what the rank of the matrix was or the row rank or column rank of the matrix, um, in both cases, doesn't matter. And also keep in mind the subtlety that the row space is a subspace of the vector space R5 in this case. So it's a, so the row space is a column is a the row space is a subspace of R n, and if this is an M as in Mary by n as in Nancy matrix m by n, and the column space is a subspace of R three in this case of R m as in Mary, um, and so then. The basis for this column space is it has a right is a three vector, and there's two of them, so that gives us dimension two. And the row space, the it's a five vector, and there's two of them, so the dimension of this space is two as well. Okay. Good luck.